The sound, it sounded like uh, a lot of steel coming down, crumbling, crashing. Not good sound. At least one laborer is dead after a piece of the Goliath crane in the Quincy shipyard collapsed Thursday afternoon. A crowd gathered on Howard Street with a view of the crane and buildings within a 2,000 foot radius were evacuated. Scott Curley, an employee from J. Cashman Incorporated, was working on a gas line in the shipyard. He's been in construction for 20 years and said the sound was the last one you'd want to hear on a job site. That, that kind of sound, you know, you know, it ain't supposed to, it ain't supposed to happen like that. So what have you, what were you told as a Cashman employee? We were told to, to get out of here, evacuate the area 2,000 feet. Can you point out on the on the crane again for me where the leg that was missing? It's right, right there to the left. So you knew that you knew that they were working on that, but that was about the extent of the update. Yes, that's correct. We didn't, we didn't. They don't, they don't inform us on what's going on. Yeah. As they were taking it down. Jacqueline Michael was making lunch in her home in nearby Winter Street when she heard the crane collapse. Um, the house jarring. My kids said she thought it was an earthquake because the house shook. Really? Yeah, the whole second floor shook. For more on this breaking story, stay tuned to PatriotLedger.com. For the Patriot Ledger, I'm Jack and Canarcio.